Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I'm just going to pray and uh, share my thoughts. Father God, we thank you for this day. Uh, we thank you for your love. And Lord, we give you the prayers and we give you the glory and we give you the honor. We thank you for your goodness and we thank you for your blessings. Father, I just pray that you be in this video in your name and for your glory. Amen. Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. Um, I don't want to make this video. I'm not really interested in making this video, really. Um, but I, I just want to uh, nail things on the head, really. Uh, I made uh, a couple of videos a few days a day ago, and I was very gracious and very very gracious and very very kind to Fiona Robertson and Cliff Jumper. Very 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 gracious to them. I showed them the love of Christ, I showed them forgiveness, and yet they are unrepentant, they are unrepentant, and when they've been exposed, yet they're still unrepentant. So I'm just going to finish it now, and I'm just going to say it as it is, and that's the end of it as far as I'm concerned, okay? First of all, Fiona Robertson made an accusation where she provided no evidence and it will not do for you Cliff Jumper to say that oh she can't show us evidence because of the Children's Act or whatever. If I accused you or any member of the atheist community you will ask for evidence. And if no evidence is provided, then you will condemn that person outright. But no evidence has been provided by you or Fiona Robertson for your scandalous accusation. The evidence that she did talk about was nothing to do with me. A video that I made went on to her Facebook. She allowed that to go onto her Facebook. That Facebook video then was seen supposedly by a mother and then supposedly a child or two children heard this mother and then went and did an act. That is the evidence that she has provided. That condemns her outright and it condemns you for being a despicable, vile idiot because it's her fault that that video went on her Facebook. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me at all. It also was the mother's fault, and it also was the children's fault. It was nothing to do with me. All right, dipstick? That is if your her story is true. She's already been exposed by two examples of trying to condemn fundies to cover her own tracks. Because whenever she's challenged, she invents stuff and tries to bring people down by inventing this stuff. And she has been exposed for it. Mark acknowledged the vilification. He acknowledged that no evidence was seen. And you have shown no evidence. You nearly caused me to have a nervous breakdown. You encouraged someone to nearly assault me. And you nearly came in and assaulted me. Now, I'm telling you, mister, you're not bullying me. You'll not intimidate me. You are a bit of a nutcase. You go around following buzzes, filming buzzes and getting bus drivers all upset. You don't get out of the house. So at the end of the day, mate, you are a bit of a nutcase. And she's a bit of a nutcase. So leave me alone. Unless you provide evidence, you are a total scumbag and she's a scumbag. Now provide the evidence. If you can't provide the evidence, then you're a scumbag and she's a scumbag. And now I offered grace, I offered kindness, I offered love to her, I offered kept grace and kindness and love to you. But if you're not repentant and she's not repentant, then so be it, you're going to have to hang yourself. You've not provided evidence and that shows how wicked and vile you are. Now you in your video have clearly stated that you saw evidence. And the evidence was a mother who was upset. Not the evidence of me 
connected to this child. You have not seen any evidence like that. You've not presented any evidence. It's obvious if a child was upset or whatever or been in, assaulted, yeah, but sure, maybe that, that, that happened, fine. But that doesn't mean to say that that's connected to me. We want evidence for me being connected to her child. And if you don't provide that evidence, you are a total scumbag. And she's a total scumbag for causing me to have a nearly nervous breakdown. Right now, I'm enjoying my Christmas. It's the best Christmas I've had. I don't ever want to talk to you. I don't ever want to talk to Fiona if you are still holding on to this accusation. Simple as that. And I'm not going to talk to anybody who's who's nutty like you, because you're a complete utter nutcase, man. You know, all you've done you is going around intimidating me. You nearly caused me to have a nervous breakdown in town. You nearly tried to assault me. She, she, and a, a, a massive atheist vilified me, and now an atheist has come out declared absolutely declared that he saw no evidence that means many atheists saw no evidence they didn't see any evidence and yet they vilified me and they didn't show any skepticism they didn't ask questions and, and critique what she was saying nobody asked questions they just took it and at least one atheist has come out and been honest about it now you're trying to get out of it by saying it's my fault because I called her a stalker. Well, everybody knew what I really meant. I really meant internet stalker because we were talking about Richard Raspberry at the time. Yeah. So you can't get out of the fact that your mate, you don't really know her, that she's a total utter scumbag for saying what she said about me. It's total scum. And you're scum and idiotic for believing that. Now leave me alone. All right. I'm having a great time in my life at the moment. I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm having a great laugh. You, sir, are living in crap. You, sir, are stuck in your room. You, sir, have got mental issues, not me. You hardly get out. When you do get out, it's chasing buzzes and filming them and getting bus drivers upset and people upset in their cars because you're filming them with their mobile phones and all the rest of it shows you're a bit of a nutter. You're the nutcase. All right. So get yourself a job, get yourself a life and sort yourself out, mate. All right. And she needs to get herself a job. And stop bugging me and leave me alone.